What's up, guys? Um, I figured I'd kind of jump on and give a little bit of an update. Um, so, the doctor I talked to just told me to uh, wait a week and see how I felt. Um, and then get back with him. So, I waited a week and on Wednesday I called him and told him, um, you know, I was still in a little bit of pain, more discomfort than pain than anything. So he's told me to uh, take it easy for another week and get back with him. I'm like, well, here's the thing. I go back to work tomorrow. I work for the next week. He goes, all right, so take five days off work and then go back then. So I contacted work, had uh, five days off. I literally have done nothing the last week what is today friday i've literally done nothing the last week other than either sit on sit in my recliner um sit out on the back porch or on the front porch that's that's it um you know i got on the tractor and mowed for a little bit yesterday um just to do something because i'm getting bored out of my mind and uh, i did that for a little while and felt really uncomfortable i mean i, I feel uncomfortable sitting in this chair I'm better if I'm in my recliner. So that's why I keep grimacing and moving around a little bit. So um, I'm going to call him on Monday and I'm assuming I'm not going to feel any better. That's only, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's only three days away. Um, and then he told me he's going to refer me to a um, general surgeon. So I don't know why waiting so long to do this um i'm gonna surgery is gonna be what i need so um i don't want to go into details of what it is or anything like that but uh um it's a common injury with lifting so um it's not a muscle tear or anything i guess it's kind of could be a i don't know, I don't know. i'm just talking now anyways um I haven't been wanting to get on YouTube or post anything on YouTube for this week just because I can't do anything. I literally am getting bored out of my mind just sitting in my chair watching TV. The majority of the time it's cartoons because that's what the kids want to watch. So, um, yeah, I just came over here, kicked on the PlayStation to see if I could sit in this chair for a little bit and uh, record this video. So... Um, I've made my mind up. I am going to go back to keto. I have um, more than likely no intentions of competing this year. Um, I, I It sucks. I just want to get in my garage and lift, but I can't. So, um, yeah. Oh, what other kind of updates do I got for you? Um, I've talked about the hail damage on both vehicles. They are both fixed. The camper is getting paid off right now. Uh, we have to check in today, so that's getting paid off. Um, the roof on the house needs to get fixed. They're coming out to do a quote on that tomorrow. Um, or uh, I already have a quote from a buddy of mine who I used to uh, lift with a lot is going to uh, repair the roof for us. And... Um, the insurance company is coming out to look at the roof tomorrow. So, um, tomorrow is also my daughter's birthday. So I will have a, uh, little bit of a video of that. We have a bunch of different surprises for her. I will, uh, just post that all in the video tomorrow. Um, whatever, whatever we can do with everything that's going on right now. Normally we do something cool with her, have family over, um, have a, throw a birthday party for her somewhere. Um, but obviously we can't do that this year. Um, we've done bowling parties for her in the past. Uh, last year we weren't going to have a birthday party with like friends or anything like that. With her, we took her to Great Wolf Lodge. So we just had a little family get together at my dad's house last year. And uh, um, 
I don't know what we were we were going to plan on doing this year, but obviously we can't do any anything. So, um, yeah. So that video will be out tomorrow. Uh, lots of cool stuff that we have planned for. Uh, I'll share all that with you tomorrow as well. Um, and then it's funny because our next door neighbor in front of us, I uh, finally started talking with her a little bit. My wife does every once in a while anyways. We let her know some of the plans we were doing. And she's like, oh, I wish my daughter was around this weekend. She's going to be at her dad's. Her birthday is on Monday. So her birthday is two days after uh, my daughter. And she's two years younger than my daughter. So um, they actually have not met yet or played together or anything like that. They've both have talked about doing that, but obviously right now with uh, everything going on, her mom works at our uh, hospital, so we haven't been unable, able to do anything like that. And uh, yeah, how's everybody's quarantine here going? I uh, This is getting long, but uh, Danielle went over yesterday and did my sides with my beard trimmer, because uh, that's uh, I have hair clippers, but my shortest guard is, um, missing somewhere over the period of time but uh she went over it with my beard trimmer yesterday so it doesn't look too bad this is this is ridiculous how long this is probably i don't know but um yeah um lots of other things going on great how around the house um uh, our garage door broke yesterday so i had somebody come out and give me a quote on Replacing the garage door. Um, uh, I did go out and pick some rhubarb the other day. Um, I have lots of that growing out there, so I'll be able to pick some and give me some strawberry rhubarb jam made up. I love that. So uh, my mom's going to make that for me. She came over and got about 10 stalks of rhubarb from me the other day. Uh, blueberries are starting to bud up the plants are at least um, the apple trees are starting to get buds on them uh, lots of flowers growing out back in the flower bed but I wanted to my goal when I was off last week was to get them all replaced in there but uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon so um, I wanted to do that myself rather than paying for somebody to do it and I know somebody who owns uh, a mulch business so I planned on supporting him but uh, can't be doing that now so and you know the wife could do some of it but I don't expect her to replace you know we have a flower bed that runs from one end of the house to the other in the back and then not talking about what's up front or around some of the trees around the property there's some mulch too so it's old and needs replaced really bad I wanted to do it last year but everything was all overgrown by the time we got here last year and the people before us didn't even like pull the weeds out of the flower beds and stuff so i did some of that last year got it looking a little bit good and uh it needs it again this year already so yeah i'm just mumbling along now just catching up with you guys i guess but um i'm gonna try and get back into watching a little bit of videos i just haven't been in the mood for it um, I hope you guys can understand that, but, um, feel free to reach out to me guys and talk to me if you want. I'm doing all right, but I'm just, what's that TikTok? I'm, I'm bored in the house. I'm in the house bored. Uh, I know what it feels now to be stuck in the house and really quarantined. So, um, luckily, uh, the wife's out at the bank right now and today i'm supposed to be at work right now so she had the kids set up for daycare so she could go grocery shopping and stuff like that and uh she already went and grocery shop this morning got me a bunch of keto stuff so keto will start tomorrow um got me a bunch of breakfast and lunch and um she wanted to try to do keto again but she she can't give up drinking pop so and she only likes coke she doesn't like Diet Coke or Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero or anything like that. So um, she can't give that up. So uh, she's not going to be doing keto. I think she'll probably try and eat low carb. Um, 
which is fine. I mean, I'm going to eat I'm not probably full keto, but uh, um, low carb because I asked her to get me some low carb wraps and she got me like the flat bread wraps, which are what, 12 grams of carbs per wrap or something like that. So I actually looked at it when she got home and I'm like, eh, this isn't exactly what I wanted, but it'll work. Um, I do like making flatbread pizzas out of those. So I used to do those a lot when I was eating more of a uh, bodybuilding style diet. I would have those once a week or so. So yeah, um, I wish I had more exciting news for you guys, but I don't. I don't know what else to share, guys. <laughs> I will keep you guys informed of what's going on. Maybe show you a little bit of the diet, what I'm going to be doing. Um, I wish I would have had this planned out a little bit better. I would have gotten the right supplements that I need to as well for uh, keto. Um, maybe I'll still get it eventually here. Get back on the uh, the double tap and the silencer fat burners which uh, wor worked really good with me the last time I did keto, which was just uh, like November, December timeframe of last year, um, where I dropped 60 pounds in those two months. So um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on the weight loss, what's going on with that. Um, I'll probably start off the first couple weeks of just doing um, regular keto low carb and then uh, eventually switch into doing a little bit of intermittent fasting with that as well. I, that really worked with me uh, last year and um, wasn't too hard for me to do um, as I thought it was going to be. Um, especially on my days off, I just get up keep myself occupied for a while. And then uh, once I start to get real shaky and stuff is when I would go eat. So... Um, who knows how that'll go right away with me because I don't know how long I'm going to be down. So, all right, 12 minutes of talking. Apologize, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.